terraform provisioner provisioners are used whenever you want to do some specific action on the local machine so local machine means the machine that we are using right now or the remote machine which is going to be created using terraform so for example ec2 machine if you are using it in aws and the common examples are like you use it for installing packages maybe in uh, remote or in local it to pass some information like maybe some passing some files or folders or to run any configuration management tool so configuration management tool like ansible puppet can be run in terraform uh, using this provisioners so i do have a project and i'll be explaining i'll be showing you with the example so okay before going ahead let's learn about the types of provisioner so there are three types of provisioner first is the file provisioner the second is local and the third is remote so file provisioner is used whenever we want to transfer or copy files from our own local to the remote machine so uh, that is why we use file provisioner we use local whenever you want to run commands or whenever you want to do some task in the local machine so we use local exec provisioner and we use remote exec whenever we want to do some commands install packages or do anything on the remote machine so while working with any of the provisioner we have to provide the connection block so connection blocks means we have to tell terraform how are we going to connect to any machine so let's say we are using the remote exec or the file provisioner so we are going to do some task on the remote machine right so some some machine which is not uh, so you don't have access to it you need to provide a connection block so most provisioner device require access to the remote resource via ssh or winrm and expect a nested connection block with a de with details about how to connect so whenever you are connecting to any other remote or whenever you are using the file provisioner you have to provide this connection block uh, which can be using ssh if it is a linux machine or winrm if it is a windows machine so the connection blocks look something like this so here you have to pass in the type type is going to be ssh host is going to be public ip and if you use the self dot public ip uh, the public ip of that instance is going to be put in here and you have to pass in the user and the password same way you do the ssh command like you have to pass in the key and the username and the password same way you have to pass in the key here the username and the password and you have to use this connection block for provisioners whenever you want to access the remote resource let's say we have launched any instance on ec2 and if i want to connect to that instance to instance i have to pass i have to run this command ssh command where i have to pass in my key and then i have to pass in the username and then i have to pass in the host right yeah. and after this i can connect to my machine whichever host i am trying to connect to so same way if you are using provisioners which are accessing the remote resource you have to pass in the type the host username password and private key right so let's go and learn about the file provisioner the file provisioner is used to copy files or directories from machine use executing terraform to the newly created resource and file provisioner supports both ssh and winrm so let's say you have any uh, so i have this files in my local machine right now right so i want to pass this app app folder from my local machine to the ec2 instance that is created using terraform so how can i do it i can do it using the file provisioner right so you can see the syntax here the you have to pass in the name of the provisioner which is going to be file and then you have to pass in the source source is going to be your local so let's say the source is going to be slash app right and slash app you have to pass in the destination so on on the ec2 machine where do you have to where do you want to paste this file so destination will be the path where you want to uh, copy and paste this file the okay. same way you can also use to uh, copy any con content or folder or file so you can copy paste anything you want like files or folders or in text format you want so that can be done using file provisioner and let me show you that with an example that is used in real case so i have a project right this one so if i go here in this you can see there's a provisioner name as file and yeah. this uh, this is this project is launching ec2 instances and is uh, using ansible do you know about ansible yeah so configuration management tool is yes it? configuration management tool so this uh, we are using provisioners to handle all the configuration management tool but before running ansible i need to have the playbook and all the other stuff uh, in my ec2 instance right so this engine config yaml is the, is my playbook 
and then I also have the roles this is all inside my local machine but I want to pass this in my remote machine this machine that is created here the is AWS instance so I want to pass this in that machine so I can use the provisioner file but I have to pass in the connection block as you can see here the connection block which has the type SSH user as Ubuntu and the private key is the key pair that I have created which will be created once this code is run and the host is going to be the self.public IP when you use the self.public IP the public IP of this instance that is going to be created is fetched here and this will automatically uh, copy the file from my roles so this folder that is present here roles is going to be copied to the home ubuntu slash roles so okay. next is local exec provisioner so if you want to run any command in your local machine you can use this local exec provisioner so local exec provisioner invokes a local executable after the resource is created this invokes a process on the machine running terraform not on the resource so on the machine where the terraform code is uh, run here it, the command will be run so this can be used for any uh, general use case so let's say if you are working on kubernetes uh, you can you can use local exec provision just to create a namespace and let me show you an example of local so here we have local exec provisioner and if i want to run any commands without creating any resource i just want to i just want the uh, command to be run so like for example if i have a key pair created and i want to just provide the permission to it so i don't want to create any any resource but i only want to create i only want to provide permission and that's why I'll use the local exec provisioner and I have to pass in the command. So command is going to be let's say kubectl create. Here I'm creating a configuration file using the kubectl create command in my own local machine. So I don't have to do any manual like if, if I was not using this uh, local exec, I have to run this command in my terminal like this. So I don't want to do any manual work. I want it to be done automatically everything. So that is why uh, we are using local exec. So I'm using Terraform just to run this command in the terraform itself so using local which means you are going to run the command in your local machine remote exec means remote exec means like you're you're creating an instance in terraform and you're running the command on that instance okay. right yeah. so let's let's learn about remote as well remote exec provisioner invokes a script on a remote resource after it is created this can be used to run configuration management tool or bootstrapped into a cluster etc so let's say let me show you an example of that as well here you can see that this instance is created which has the ami the instance type all this stuff so i want to maybe run some commands so which you can run remote exec so using remote exec i can run uh, commands like let's say i have used remote exec here and i have used the inline command where i'm passing all the commands so i'm echoing this i have whenever i'm using ansible i have to pass in the host file right where i have to pass in the ip address of pi, private ip address of all the other ec2 instances so that the playbook can be run on that instances so for that i have to create a host and to create that host i am using remote exec where i am echoing everything that i have put in here so i am echoing ansible the name of the host this means that i am running some commands on my remote machine without accessing it right, all right okay without accessing yeah all right okay. so i am doing everything I'm from here with so i just have to pass in the connection block so I'm accessing it through this, but not going to the console or not going to my terminal. I'm just using the Terraform to do any, everything. You can use remote exec provisioner to run commands like you can run commands. You can run configuration management tool as well. So let me show you like I have a command which is uh, running. So this is remote exec provisioner also. And this is the command yeah. to run the Ansible playbook, Ansible playbook and the name of the playbook. Right. So this yeah. command is run without going into the instance was not using this remote exec provisioner what i was doing is i will be creating the instance once that instance is created i'll go to my uh, console i'll log into my console then i go to then i'll go to my aws ec2 instance right okay. and after that yeah. ec2 instance i have to go uh, to the particular instance which is going to be created and once the instance is created i have to say this is the yeah. instance that is created so if i want to run the ansible playbook in this I have to go connect to it then a, then a shell will be open yeah. this and then I have to pass in the command so I have to do some manual task in this right so I have to go here and I have to go yeah, to the console yeah. and so if you don't want to do any manual task and if you want to run the commands directly from yeah. the uh, terraform then we use remote exec provisioner 
remote means far from yeah, you, yeah. right? So remote exec means running commands on remote machine. Local exec means running commands on local machine. Okay, alright. Right, and file provisioner is used whenever you want to copy paste file or folders in remote machine. Okay. 